All right, let's move to the consent calendar then. Any motions for the consent calendar? Vice Chair Earl, or Hart, sorry. Did somebody beat you to it? Member Klein. Um, I will pull the minutes, whatever number that is. Oh. oh, there we go. Say a, a quick comment about superintendent's report. Sure. I know we moved on kind of quickly, but um, I just want to mention that the visit that you made to St. George, um, the principal there in the South Mesa Elementary, I just saw her picture up there, and she happens to live in my sister's neighborhood in St. George. And um, I was down there visiting one time, and she happened to be teaching a church class that I was at. And she apologized to the class, and she said, I'm sorry that I'm so teary today. She said, I just love my students and my teachers so much and my students' families. And she said, some things were said about us online that were not true. And it just caught on like wildfire, and it spread all around. And she said, it is so painful to watch these people who come here every day and work their guts out for these kids and see how they're suffering right now because of this um, situation. And I just, I don't know her at all. I walked up to her after the class. I said, you don't know me. You don't even care who I am. But I gave her a hug and I said, I see you. I see you. And if I had that problem with you, I would have come to you personally and found out what the situation was and what the, the um, context was. And so I just, um, I'm grateful. She just said to me, I don't know how much longer I can do this. So I'm really happy to see her up there on the screen that she's still there and she was there for that visit. This was a couple of years ago. Um, and I just uh, want to thank you, Superintendent, for going out to these schools because these folks who work really hard for our kids, they sometimes get, a, 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 they have real feelings and they want to be seen. So thank you for going out and seeing our people in every geography area all over the state. I just think it's a wonderful thing that you do. So thank you for doing that. Go with you, Dr. Dixon, to a few schools in Salt Lake, and I don't know if that was a one-time opportunity, but I would just say I love to be invited to those those um, visits if if you have time and your schedule allows, and uh, it's always easier for me. Some of you are really good about just going into schools, and I do it occasionally, but I'm much better if I go um, with Dr. Dixon because she always has a greater purpose than I do. So I'd love to be able to do that if you're doing that again. Great. Thank you. Yeah. I'll try to cover them all. All right. Thank you. And back to the consent calendar. Do we have any member Hart, Vice Chair Hart? I move that we... Uh, approve the uh, consent calendar minus the um, meeting minutes. There a second? Okay, so that's item number one. So you're, are you moving item one, which is everything but the minutes? Well, I'm moving everything from 14. Okay, it's effectively action item number one. Okay. We have one action item, which is contacts no, agreements. It looks to me like I just a point of information. Go ahead. Yeah, the, the approval of the minutes is just listed separately. Is is separate. So yeah, we have an information item which is action it's item two. We have minutes is action item three. So I take Chair Vice Chair Hart's motion to be addressed to what's left, which is action item one. Two action items under the consent calendar, correct. One is contacts and agreements, one is the minutes. So this motion goes to number one, correct? All right, so the motion is being item. made to approve all in number one. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion of that motion? On You're holding on the minutes, correct? Item number three? 
On this one, you've got a comment on action item one? Yeah, I would just speak against um, both the, the contracts, <laughs> the contact, contract and the grant. Okay. On item number one. All right. Yeah. With that discussion, seeing no further lights, can we, we can no. vote? All right, let's vote. The motion is to approve action item Chair, number may one. I? Sorry, oh, is that? Chair, may I? Yes, is that, oh, that member Bogus? It is member Bogus, sir. Yes. Um, I, I just would offer that in reviewing the, the contracts, there, are dis, there is a disclosure in the contracts that would, the contract that would govern the Utah Fit Scholarship of every student in the state not just the students that apply for the information. And I, I think that as a body, that should cause us overwhelming consternation because it's not just the students who participate in the program, it's every child and their PII. And so I would just put that out there before we vote. Members can make their own decisions, sir. Thank you. Where is, where is it located? Disclosure, could I ask disclosure to whom? To the the party of the contract. The program manager. Okay. Yes, sir. Does she have a so it's not authorizing disclosure to other parties, but you're saying it discloses all students in the state's PII to the program manager. What page is that? Sir, that is how I read it, yes. Do you know what page we should? It is cited. Uh, I apologize, sir. I'm on Zoom. Um, no worries. My understanding is that it was for the purposes of verification. And it. I just think that that's something we should look into. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. We actually were mid-vote, so that can affect or influence the vote. Let's continue with the vote. It is open. The motion is to approve all consent contract items. So let's proceed with the vote. Green is no. Bogus is Sorry. no. Bogus is no. Green? Okay, green is no. Correct? All right, so Bogus Correct. is no. Green is no. Um. Okay, we've lost member Booth. Is that the only one we're missing? Sorry, so th this is to, the motion was to approve all of the contract items in, in item number one, the consent calendar. Okay. Well, let, let's 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 read the vote. We've, we've, we're voting. We've got the vote is nine to five. That passes the nose are member wood member green member bogus member davis and member klein so i'm sorry back to member klein there's a question the vote's been taken is that a follow-up about just gathering information related well, to the yeah i just raised? wondered if we have a staff member that knows the contract well enough that could point us to that section so we could take a look at it and then if somebody that voted on on the prevailing side could bring it back if it, it, we see that it's problematic. Where is it located at? I, that's what I'm wondering. Yeah, I don't think we heard it. I know Member Bogus is joining us by... Director Chalice? be helpful if someone could point us. I'm, yeah, I'm happy to speak to... Yes. Why? I was just going to say, if Board Member Bogus could describe her question again and the page number, I think I might know. I think I have a sense of what it is, but I don't think I heard the question well enough or what she was hoping for clarification on. Member Bogus, did are you able to rephrase the question or repeat it? Yes, sir. Um, there is a section in that contract that authorizes the release of every student in the state and their PII for the purposes of verification. Do you know where that might be in the contract? Sir, I'm sorry, I don't. 
I, I wish that I was in front of my computer. I would find it for no, you. No worries. Well, I think we're, we're digging through. Deputy Stallings, I think, has a beat on it. We can follow up with her and bring it back to you. Or Director Chalice, do you know the contract or what that provision is about, where it might be if it is? Yeah, I don't. Um, thanks, Chair. This is uh, Katie Chalice, Director of Privacy. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, I can speak to this if you'd like. I And I can't point to the part of the contract that Member Bogus is referring to, but I can explain to you how this data sharing would work. So sure. the legislature has charged the program manager to with um, determining eligibility of students who apply for participation. This would require USBE to give the program provider, or excuse me, program manager relevant information about those students when they apply. So it is true that the program manager would need access to student information for any student who applies, but they don't receive that information until the student applies. And then they check the information based on that application, if that makes sense. So there, there wouldn't be like a, so an extensive so yes, have... exactly. They're checked in response to the application. Mm -hmm. Okay. Follow up, Member Earl, Vice Chair Earl. Yeah, I just was, Vice and the, the question is, is so they can't they can't actually check the the information until after there's a, an enrollment or whatever the process is, right? Yeah, and uh, admittedly, like this is going to require some discussion with USBE staff and the program manager and how to do that technologically. I imagine there will probably be some kind of API that we need to establish, but that's definitely for me personally as the privacy director. That's really important to me to make sure that the program manager only has access to information as needed and not carte blanche. Okay, thank you, Member Klein. Does that or or Member Bogus? Did that answer the question? Okay, we we did vote. Remember Davis? What? Yeah, I'm looking at 38. It's got a lot of limitations. On okay, it. Norton. Yeah, I guess we've got an order. Remember, remember Norton. Remember Klein. Remember Davis. I'm also looking in section. I looked in section 119 and and saw some things, but I'm also looking in section 38, and it's very limited. It shall be limited to the necessary and directly related to the contractor's responsibilities only provided for the writing of the scope of the work it goes through over and over and limits that all on the data okay to the needs related to the applicants a member davis no, section yeah did i did i miss it this somewhere how many uh applied we're just putting no, the you mean contract How many applied to be the U the Utah Fits All manager? Four. Five? And they all got relatively low scores? And they're just getting, this is an out-of-state entity that's getting $10 million. Just, they're just throwing it out there. There's nothing we can do about it, I guess, because it is what it is, but just putting it out there. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I think that covers that item. We still have the action item for the minutes, which is action item three. That was pulled, but it was already kind of separate anyway. So is there a motion related to the minutes? I move we approve the minutes. Is there a second? Seconded. Any discussion of that motion? If not, let's let's vote. Motion is to approve the minutes. Green is a yes. Thank you. Bogus is a yes. Thank you, Member Bogus. We've got everybody. Voting is unanimous. That passes. And that concludes the consent calendar.